Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar episode number 3 and 4. Now uh, the previous two episodes, uh, this is the first and the second episodes, this was my first introduction to Avatar and I have to say I am really impressed with how like I'm especially impressed at the pacing of this anime because like it's it's really a comfortable extremely comfortable pacing because it, it doesn't seem too fast neither too slow and that's one thing that I really liked about this series like a lot of things happened but it not it did not like you know like it, it did not feel as if they skipped something or they rushed something like everything was at, at a very comfortable pace we met uh, quite a few characters, not too many characters. It was a comfortable amount of characters. We met um, Ang, we met Katara, and we met her brother Sokka and uh, Prince Zuko. And there's this uh, another guy. I, I think Zuko's master. I, st I still don't know his name. We're probably going to be introduced in the like you know in these uh, these episodes. So yeah. So these were the few episodes we met, and also like the other people, like the villagers, Grand Grand, and. Um, Ang's, um, <laughs> uh, what's, what's, what is the thing that, that flying bison, <laughs> like these characters we met. We also got uh, the background of the what is actually happening, how like, you know, the Fire Nation attacked and the Avatar like uh, disappeared at that time. But now like Ang is uh, like, you know, everyone is thinking that Ang is the like, you know, new Avatar who has come back and Ang also needs to like perfect all the other um what do you call it all the other elements uh, except wind wind he like he's uh, i'm guessing like he has perfected wind and he needs to perfect all the other like you know elements so yeah and now they are like you know and there's this whole little thing with zuko and ang showed his you know like his powers like he was too overpowered uh, <laughs> uh, like by the middle of it <clears throat> and then we see um them actually going on a journey uh, soka katara and am uh, on the journey to the water yeah the the, the water track i think in, they said like north pole uh, yeah so to, to the other water track to get a master for katara and also ang will also learn uh, like water bending so yeah let's see and before that he said something about like you know <laughs> like looking at some seals and everything like I don't know if they're going to show that or not, but let's see what happens. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number three of Avatar. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Ang. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, he forgot. Like obviously, like if you are like sealed in ice, yeah, you're supposed to forget stuff. I think. Water, earth, and fire. Like, is there like a uh, what do you call it? A sequence like you have to do water before earth, and then. Okay, chapter three, the Southern Air Temple. Okay. They're taking a rest, I'm guessing. Air Temple. Oh, that, that's his home. Okay. Yeah.
<laughs> Soka is sleeping. Osaka. I, I'm, I say his name is Soka. <laughs> Wait, it's... Oh, it's, it's dawn, so... <laughs> oh no, he's going to fall in the water. Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> Great way to wake up your friend. <laughs> okay. Is this the Fire Nation? Oh, damn. Yeah, he'll, he'll lose his privilege, you know? Oh no. Okay. I Hmm. Yeah, who did it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay oh damn <laughs> wow control your fire <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. Damn, nothing. <laughs> Did Ang see eat him? <laughs> oh no! He didn't even eat it. <laughs> Flames. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Who knows, like... Oh. Okay. Isn't that there's so there's no other way to fly? I'm guessing only this and maybe the airbenders can fly, you know? Damn, it's high! Okay, so yeah, I'm understanding why they said like it's impossible to come here except a flying bison. Yeah, it's really beautiful looking. Oh, he has it all planned out. Hm. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. Evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you yourself said so, you know. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, great! God, wow. <laughs> These guys are like... Like <laughs> fighting almost themselves as well. <laughs> Face!
Airball. Yeah, there's no one here. Yeah, the weeds kind of indicate that no one came here. I'm sure about it. Like, no one's here, I'm guessing. Oh, is it that thing? Where, where you... Oh. Oh, damn! It's like soccer, isn't it? Kind of. <laughs> wow. Seven? <laughs> okay. Oh. Damn, it's the Fire Nation mask. Or, or helmet, whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Mm. True. Let's see how much, like, you know. We still don't even know what actually happened. Yeah. How did they even get here then? Yatsu. Oh. Oh, so he's master. Ooh, what the hell? That's the cake? <laughs> wow. It's a really nice place. Oh my god, so many flying bisons. Mm, okay. Oh. <laughs> this is like these are weird looking cakes. <laughs> what the wait? What? <laughs> Wait, that's what they were trying to do? <laughs> I thought cake were for eating. <laughs> wow, nice. That's some fun way to train, you know? <laughs> train. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hope that the person is still there, like, you know? Oh, oh yeah, true, true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come on. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Oh wow, that's... Damn! Oh, so this is like the amount of power you can put. Like, you know, it measures your level, like, you know, power level and only allows those who has reached past a certain level to get in. So that's why, like, the master said that when you, like, you know, master Airbnb, you can go in there or something. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh damn, calm down. Okay, well. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Wow. <laughs> no mate. Are these the past? Oh, okay. Oh, there you goes. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Damn. Oh, wow, that's a really interesting. So before this, he was in the Fire Nation avatar. You know, before this incarnation. Okay, so he's a fire. Yeah, because it's his incarnation. Oh. Okay, someone's here. What the? That's a fuck. That's a firebender? What is that? Looks like a plant. Like bunny ears. What is that? I think that it's some kind of an animal. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's not a firebender. Oh, what the? No! Calm down! Oh god! <laughs> well... <laughs> well, Ang Ang can... <laughs> there you go! <laughs> Oh, it can fly! Wow! Damn! Oh god! Hmm... Yeah, yeah. Banished. Okay, so that's why he is... Okay, so that's why he's trying to get the after. Uh. Oh. Okay, they're going to fight. Tuh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no, oh no. So much for not letting him know, you know. He found out so soon. Oh, yeah. Oh no! Oh no, he's... Is... 
Okay, something's going to happen probably, yeah. Oh! Whoa, so many! So many in Oh, damn! These are... Wow, even in the Fire Nation! There you go, like... Now everybody knows. Wow. Oh god. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, can you do that? Whoa, look at that. It's like a complete Okay, we're going to have to fight now. Yeah, the basics. Okay, let's see. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh he he got him. He got him. Come on. No, no. Okay, this is good. He's getting a hold of it. Okay, I would really like to Look at his face now, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> I got too excited. <laughs> he won! I was not expecting that. Wow. Okay, this is good. Come on, dude. And this is not cow cowardice? What the hell? Like, what, who, what is this guy? Like, he talks big about being a coward and now he's like... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> like... Yeah, like, attacking while your back is turned. That's one of the biggest disgrace in any warrior, to any warrior. Like, what the hell? Wow, this guy is a... Uh... And obviously, like... <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, true. Who knows, maybe you'll find someone, you know, someone who, who probably ran away from here or something. I don't know.
Mm. Oh, oh, it's here again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he brought him food because he did not want to get eaten. <laughs> That's a, that's an intelligent um lemon the set yeah Okay what's his name Oh Momo <laughs> Okay All right I'm wondering how did the firebenders get here as they said like you know you need to get on a flying bison or something so you like high up in the air okay that's the end I think yeah that's the end okay let me just see if there's something nope that's the end all right so okay so that was episode number three of avatar now um we in this episode we see how like you know, obviously it continues from there and i thought like they were probably going to like you know like i was not expecting Av like you know ang to come to his home first but obviously that's like normal you know like you are like uh, you know you came uh, out from like a long sleep and then obviously the it, the first thing that would kind of bug you is how is my family and friends so yeah that's what actually happened he comes here and now there's one thing that I'm thinking now, like as he said, like, you know, like this is so high, like we ourselves saw it's so high up in the air. How can the fire nation even come here unless and until they've like, you know, made some kind of like that might be it, you know, maybe they like in these hundred years that Aang was out, like, you know, in, in the ice, uh, maybe they made some kind of a flying machine or whatever. And they were able to like, you know, go up in the air. Like, like one thing we got to see from like you know this is that Ang does not know all the new like you know technological advancements that's that's happened in these hundred years. So who knows? Like may, maybe that that's how they got there, you know? Or maybe I don't want to think that is like you know like that is the way. But uh, uh, like uh, like there's another thing that I'm thinking. I don't know like I'm still don't know like we've never like you know we have not met any airbender except Ang. so I still don't know how much like you know how they are as a pe as people maybe there was a spy like you know maybe there was someone from the inside who was working with someone from the outside and they somehow helped them get here like you know maybe like sneak in a flying bison to them and they like you know came up on it who knows like the only two methods i can see them like uh, invading this place are these like either they made some kind of technological advancement which helped them get to that height or someone from the inside was working and they found uh like you know they helped them in or there's another thing maybe there was like an airbender who was out on his bison and maybe some fire nation people found him and you know like uh, killed him or something and took the bison and came here like there are a lot of ways that this could happen like, we still don't know what happened these are all like guesses that i'm making either one can be the truth or maybe it's something completely different who knows so yeah i'm sure like you know as we go on we'll get more hints as to what actually happened here and uh, yeah and also like this uh, uh, like you know this uh, episode was broken in into two parts in a, in a way like it was kind of like going back and forth where we also see prince zuko's side now uh, his name is zhao isn't it yeah like uh, the commander now so like so actually like them kind of trying to hide it that the avatar is here wouldn't have probably helped in either way because like Aang kind of getting mad at that like, you know like scene like triggered all the other like you know the depictions of Avatar in the fire nation in the water nation in the earth nation everywhere like all of them like you know those uh, depictions those statues and like everything those paintings they started glowing because of that so everyone knew that yeah the Avatar has come back so even if like you know like Zhao did not uh, like you know interrogate those uh, 
uh, people from the ship, he would have gotten to know either way that the Avatar is here. But you know, like <laughs> a good thing came out of that, that Zhao got to know his place. Like, you know, he was talking too big. Like, you know, he's saying, oh, like, you know, like, uh, what will you do? And like, I still had an ounce of respect for him before he did that thing, what he did. He pulled out that stunt where he attacked him while his back was turned. Like before that, I, I still like I was neutral on him. But after that incident, I re like really don't like appreciate like, you know, uh, that kind of behavior. So that's like, you know, like my opinion on Zhao kind of went negative after that because like like he was like, <laughs> like you know moments before that he was saying that oh like you are a coward your dad like you know doesn't need you doesn't like you he exiled you and you can't do anything and you're weak so and like you know like saying all of these things you're a coward and then when he loses <laughs> he attacks him from the behind like what like <laughs> that's some <laughs> like I don't know what to say like that's some really a uh, messed up like mentality like he was preaching him but at the same time he himself doesn't like you know follow those rules like what the hell like that really kind of like made my opinion on him like you know fall down to the negative i'm not so sure about him now like you know he seemed uh, an okay kind of guy in in the beginning but now like after that like who knows maybe like you know uh like I, I'll still not like I keep my opinion on him on hold, okay. but up like you know up like from the first episode from his introduction, he did not do a good job of like you know putting a good impression on us as an audience. So yeah, like for this episode, my opinion on him is negative, and I don't know why, but like <clears throat> from the first episode, uh, like I didn't feel like you know. Like, you know, negative about Zuko at all, even though he was kind of shown as the antagonist in a way, you know, at, le at least in the first and the second episode. Like, I never felt like that kind, like any kind of bad qualities in him. Like, you know, he is not arrogant. He is like, you know, he like is honorable as like, obviously his master also said that. And he keeps his like, you know, promises and like these were all like positive qualities maybe that was the reason why like you know even though from the in the first and the second episode he was depicted as a villain in a way you know not as a villain but as an antagonistic character as the character on the opposite side like you know i never felt like you know any kind of negative like opinion on him like he like he's a pretty good like you know character i have to say and from this episode we can also see like you know he is uh, as as I said, like you know, as his master also said, he's very honorable and like you know, like he has good points. It's just that you know, like th this is not like you know, this is not some kind of like yeah, the good people are good, the bad like you know, the other side is bad. It's nothing like that. Actually, this is like uh, like like Zuko is in a position which is just like you know, opposite to the uh, like you know, he's just a person in the Fire Nation. Like, you know, he's, he's just born as a person in the tribe, in the fire tribe, which is actually, who are actually the bad guys in a way. But that does not mean that he himself is a bad guy. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. So it's just that he is on the side, which is antagonistic towards the rest of the world. That's just it. It's not that he is bad. Like, that's basically it, you know. So, like like you know like like i i f like you know he like zuko is pretty what can i say like an okay type of a person as far as i can see like you know he like he looks like one like you know he's probably going to be one of the uh, good guys in this like you know in this show but he'll be in a position which is like you know uh, like which will be like antagonistic towards ang and his like you know his friends that's just it i think so yeah, and obviously we can see that how he he also said that like we can understand that his father that he has some kind of falling out with his father I'm guessing and like his father like said that like banished him yeah exiled him and so he's trying his best to kind of like you know um win his father's uh, approval again that's basically it you know. So it's just like you know, like a like a child that wants acceptance from his parent. 
That's basically it. So, like, that does not mean that he is bad. It's just his unfortunate in a way, I'm guessing. I don't know. Let's see. So, yeah. And, um... What else? Yeah, that was... Those were the two most important things that we saw. And the fighting, like, you know, the fighting, like, that happened, uh, the, 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 the match between Zhao and um zuko that was pretty nice i have to say like it was like a like someone in the comment section mentioned in the previous episode like these like these uh fire bending water bending earth bending these are like uh like actual martial arts i'm guessing in different parts of the world so it was really like you know there was like kind of like like like, like they were fighting but it looked like they were kind of like you know performing <clears throat> martial arts and like you know like kind of like dancing and everything like you know there's like their movements were so like you know artistic and so what can i say organized and everything it's not like you know like some street brawl nothing like that it's like you know disciplined artistic and such ele like you know with such elegancy uh is that a word elegancy elegant <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, yeah and now like Ang, Ang kind of saw what actually happened here and like he got mad for a minute there now like as like you know as Katara and like Saka kind of like consoled him and uh, I don't know like who knows maybe like like what he'll do if he comes in front of some firebending like you know nation people were actually antagonistic towards him like you know he like this is like a little bit of a grudge i don't know if he has this grudge now if he got this grudge after seeing this scene who knows like you know like after seeing something like that and understanding that yeah the fire nation people are actually bad at killing people who knows how it affected ang i'm sure we'll get to know it in the future like you know did he like like usually in these kind of situations actually what happens is like the like you know the character in question here they kind of become like you know get a vengeance type of um, like you know goal they get like, uh, like like you know they have a grudge after this they try to get revenge and something like that it usually goes this way but like it's looking like you know seeing ang and kind of like seeing him for this fast past two and now the third episode i don't like you know I don't picture him kind of becoming that type of a person who is going to his vengeance. Like, you know, he doesn't seem that like that type of a person. So who knows, you know, like how, like, you know, this whole scene actually affected him and what he's going to do in the future. So, yeah, that's also another thing that I'm quite interested in. Like, will he go the old fashioned like revenge route or will he be like that type of a person who will say that, OK, like, you know, whatever happened, happened. I'll know, like, I'll not go, go into this revenge business. I'm just going to, like, you know, help people. And, like, you know, help people who are in need. And don't, I won't let the Fire Nation do, you know, more damage than this. Like, who knows? Like, like I'm quite interested in seeing how this actually goes, you know? So, yeah. And we also got a new um, member <laughs> in our party that is Momo. Yeah, his name was Momo, wasn't it? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, that was a good episode. And, uh, oh, we also met um, Aang's master here. And we also saw uh, <laughs> the way his, Aang's master kind of like, you know, was training him was really funny, you know? Like, I've, I've never seen people, <laughs> like, you know, in any anime or any kind of like, you know, TV show, like, where someone trains someone like that, you know? Like, it's like the, he, like, you know, he's like, that was like a fun little training where they like make cake and use the, like, you know, airbending technique to prank others. <laughs> That's a really enjoyable way to train, I have to say. Uh, I'm sure, like, you know, his master probably did more, more like, these type of trainings with him. <laughs> which made it even more enjoyable. And we also saw a little bit of a sport here, where, like, that, like, little, like, that, that, that looks like soccer, you know? Like, but in this, like, you know, thing, it's like one versus one. So, yeah, all of these things. So, yeah, that was episode number three. So, let's get started with the next episode. Just to check, uh... Yeah. Okay. So, <coughs> so that was episode number three, and now we'll start. Okay, here it is, episode number four. So, without further ado, let's get started with episode number four of Avatar.
So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1. <sighs> okay oh also another thing i kind of forgot to mention in the previous episode it was really interesting to see how the actual cycle works, you know, like so after that death, the avatar kind of reincarnates into the next in the cycle. So he's heir now. So before this, he was in the fire nation, you know, the previous reincarnation. Excuse me. So after this life, she'll be born in the water tribe. Okay. Yeah, this one. I was really not expecting that, you know, uh, like where they said, like, when the after dies, he's get reincarnated into the next one in the cycle. Like, damn, the warriors of Kyush. Okay. Oh, the ship got repaired. I'm guessing. Yeah. Damn, it's training. Wow. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Damn. Wait. <laughs> He's just lost. <laughs> Master of evasive maneuvers. <laughs> nice. Oh. Okay. What the? <laughs> What's it? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What? Is there some place like that where you don't need it? I don't know, like... Okay. Nah, Ava doesn't care. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big fish. <laughs> what? Oh, damn. He wrote penguins before this. Oh, damn. And now he's going to ride a fish? <laughs> wow. Oh, did he get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't fall. Oh, there are a lot of them. <laughs> but still, you know. Oh, what? 
Oh no, Appa's eating the food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what the? That's a huge one. Okay, don't get eaten, Ang. Oh! Oh no. Oh no, that's huge. Whoa! <laughs> you use <said> airbending! <laughs> What's the animation? Yeah, he's using his airbend. Okay. Whoa! He yeah, actually has a good cushion. <laughs> oh! What the? Wait! Um... Hello? Who, who are these people? Um... What? Who? Oh. Oh, come on, Saka. <laughs> oh no, they eat people. Wait, he's outside. Yoshi? This... Oh, after. Okay. Okay. Well, he's an airbender. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh! There you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not Davatar. <laughs> okay, they're, they're, they're impressed at that. Wow. I was not expecting that. <laughs> wow, it's getting... Like, you know, everyone's... Hearing about it. Damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So... Okay, so Kiyoshi is a lady, isn't she? So that obviously, like, it doesn't mean if you're, like, you know, in a previous incarnation, you're not a male. You can be a female. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Damn, he's taking everything. <laughs> this is tasty. Yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> hmm, yeah. <laughs> Simple monk. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I won't let it go to my head, you know? Oh, damn, now what? Yeah, he can fly. 
Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there's another one. There's more of them. Oh! Even more. Oh my god, the Fire Nation, like, you know, Zuko is coming to attack and they are like... <laughs> oh! Yes, how about two of them? There you go! Wow! Look at you! Saka. Oh no. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that that's just a preliminary round. Yeah. Yeah, twenty percent of my power. No. Yeah, forty percent of my power. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? <laughs> um, wait, is that a male or a female? Yeah, okay. Oh no. Yeah. I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> um Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, Zuko will be here very soon. So. Her name is Suki. Hmm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. You need the ma yeah, yeah, the the painting also I think. There you go. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Mm. I'm glad you're glad. <laughs> Uh 
yeah like like they're here for a few days you know so uh, oh okay Oh, he got it. Her. Wow. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay, calm down. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Hmm. No. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah, all the Unagi eats you, like, you know? <laughs> oh no, it, it literally is going to eat him. Wow, I just, I was just joking. <laughs> what the heck? Or maybe not. It's just going to give him a ride. Right? Oh, what? Oh, that is the Unagi, isn't it? Yeah. Damn! Yeah, it is trying to eat him! Um... Well... <laughs> wow! Dunagi is like, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, god! Yeah... Quickly, go, get into the land, you know? Oh no! Yeah, yeah, water bending, use a water bending, you know? Like make a... Uh, I don't know, like something. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. Nice. Oh my god, it's like... Is, that is Unagi, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Zuko's here as well. Oh my god. Damn. Wow, they came with. Okay, you should probably, like, you know. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm guessing they won't be able to recognize Saka because of his paintings, you know? Yeah. Like. Like. Oh my god. Like, thankfully they can like play this off you know. Like they might say that. Yeah I came here and went away. Let's see. Hmm. Damn these are some. What are these things? Bisons? Yeah, they're like ninjas, you know, in a way. Whoa, yo, damn, look at them. Whoa, that's amazing. Well, there you go. Oh, no, the thing can also. Oh. Okay, wow, thank God.
Yeah. Okay, someone tie him up or do something like you know, like oh god. Yeah, Zuko is strong. Oh no, Ang is here. I was thinking they would probably play it off that they went away or something. But no, that won't work, I guess. Oh no, his. Okay, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. That's a fan. Like, you know? Like. So that's why I'm guessing it has more power. To you. Oh no, yeah. They need to keep moving, you know? Like, otherwise, something like this is going to happen. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, they're more uh, focused on Ang, so they're probably going to, like, you know, follow them. Yeah, if they stayed there. Oh, what the? What? Wait, what is it? Is he going to bring out the Unagi? Or do something with it? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm guessing he's going to, like, you know, kind of lure it to the ship or something and going to destroy it or oh okay never mind he's like okay that's a better way wow nice fire won't work now you know it's water <laughs> wow good job But you know, that's a good thing that he did. <laughs> Alright, that's the end, I'm guessing, yeah? Mm, yep, that's the end. Mm. Alright, so that was episode number 4 of Avatar. Now, uh, okay, so this episode we see them going to, uh, I'm guessing the tribe is called Kiyoshi, isn't it? So, excuse me, so <clears throat> I'm not so sure what they actually are, like I'm, I'm guessing they're like a, uh, like you know, a, a small little tribe I'm guessing, like who like practice these kind of martial arts, the thing with the fans, and they are more like, uh, you know, ninjas in a way, like you know, like they're like nimble on their feet, can like you know, like move fast and everything, and use the fans to like you know, fight, and <clears throat> Now, uh, like the very like you know the very uh, like fast and like you know they have some techniques and that's like the main uh, like you know the the most uh, important thing for them and like they don't have any kind of water bending fire bending powers you know they are just like good like warriors like they're like warriors they're like martial artists so yeah that's basically it but they, I'm guessing they also like um uh like what can i say like they're also some kind of uh like a tribe which were somehow related to the avatar as they like you know they um said that the avatar was like what was the name that they said just a sec um okay let's see kiyoshi okay 
Okay, so uh, the tribe is also called Kyoshi, isn't it? I I'm not so sure. Uh, like Kyoshi is the avatar's name. Okay, just a sec. Okay, yeah, there you go. This island is named for Kyoshi. I know Kyoshi, okay. All right, so the, the, the island is named after things. I'm guessing the tribe's name is also like Kyoshi and Kyoshi is also the name of uh, Aang's previous incarnation, uh, like as an avatar. Okay, uh, they're saying that she was born here 400 years ago. That means um, 400. For a hundred years after, uh, like Ang was kind of uh, like you know in the ice, so another hundred years before that he was a fire avatar. Before that, three hundred years, uh, he was an earth avatar. So I'm guessing uh, Kyoshi was a waterbender, like you know avatar. I'm guess as far as the cal my calculation goes, I might be wrong. You know either. Yeah, most probably, like when, uh, like, you know, when Aang was incarnated as a water bender avatar in one of his previous reincarnations, uh, like, so once, like one time he was, like, you know, he bo was born as Kiyoshi. Okay, like, he literally says here, she's been, so that's female. I, I was a little bit confused and like, you know, uh, like by the end of it like was is this a female or a male now all like you know like like i had like this is like this weird thing where like uh like i'm sure a lot of people also like thought about it like uh when we got to know that like ang had this kind of previous reincarnations i at least i thought that okay like everyone was like male like you know like him no that's not it like so obviously like this is not some kind of uh you know like a thing that is set in stone that yeah his gender will be male every time no it's a like you know completely new life in his previous incarnations and in his future incarnations as well like he must have like you know a lot of times he must have been born as a girl as well so yeah so that was basically it so <coughs> okay now now one thing um I said that he, like, you know, this Kyoshi, she was probably a water bender, but maybe not. Maybe she was also an air bender because she has a fan in her hand. I don't know. I might, my calculations might be a little bit wrong, you know, like I kind of calculated it roughly. But if you guys know, let, let me know in the comment section if it's not any kind of spoilers, you know, like she's either a air bender or a water bender, either one of it, you know? Okay. So yeah, anyways, um, so as I was saying, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, now they get into this kind of this like a village, a, a tribe, little tribe where like they were like, you know, like <laughs> given a lot of like things and everything after they got to know that, yeah, the avatar has come back. And as Katara said that, don't let it get into your head. <laughs> and kind of let him go into his head but obviously like you know, like who can like blame him like he, he's a technically he's a kid you know even though he has been like an avatar like for so long so so many previous incarnations still he's a kid now so yeah <laughs> he was kind of like you know happy with all the attentions that he was guess getting and uh, yeah now um <clears throat> zuko like now it's really what can i say uh like funny to see how like you know rumors and information kind of circulate out of hand like it started from here and like you know people kind of talked about it and it went to zuko so quickly and he got to know that yeah uh, ang is here and he like quickly came here decided to come here like it, it, everything happened so quick that you know like the rumor originated it went to zuko Zuko got to know about it and he arrived here all in the matter of a few days I'm guessing while Aang was here so damn that is some fast networking <laughs> like you know as they say like rumors kind of like are quick like that so yeah anyways and um <clears throat> and also we get like I've seen this in I'm, like you know in the previous episode as well <laughs> Sokka is a bit you know like like underestimates uh ladies a little a bit much i'm guessing that's because of how she, he was like you know uh 
brought up like i'm guessing like in in like you know when he was in the water like tribe i'm sure his father and his brothers were all outside due to the war and he was like the only i'm guessing male who was of age you know in his tribe so probably like you know like he had this kind of a feeling like yeah like i am the only person who can protect everyone you know me being the uh, like sole male who is of age so i need to like help everyone i need to protect everyone so this kind of a thing is probably the reason why he really underestimates girls like it's not that like you know it's not that he's sexist that's not it like you know there's a difference between this like the way he was brought up in the, the atmosphere like you know in the circumstances i'm guessing that is why like you know he is like this like as he was saying that like you know like oh you're girls you can't do anything like you know like i'm so pissed off because you uh, like you know you, you being girls you defeated me so i need to like prove myself some kind of thing like that that's not because like he, that's not because he's mean he's not trying to be mean to them it's just that the way he was brought up his mentality is like yeah i'm the like you know male i'm the like you know i'm supposed to protect everyone and i'm supposed to be strong stronger than everyone like that kind of, a, I'm guessing, a responsibility was always upon him while he was in the water tribe. So that is kind of like made him like this. So obviously, like after, like as he's like journeying around, he's sure to meet a lot of strong females after this. So his like opinion will definitely change after, like, you know, as he goes on and he'll like understand that. Yeah, like it's not that like males are stronger than females. It's just that, you know, like <clears throat> that was something that I was like you know i thought before because of my circumstances it's not actually true and you know like uh, i'm sure a lot of people will kind of misunderstand this thing at least i like you know like by saying like uh, like like he's a little bit too blunt you know saka he just like abruptly says that oh you're a girl you, you can't beat me like i'm sure a lot of people are like by watching this will kind of say that oh like he's sexist and all but it's and i i don't think that's actually it it's just probably that the way like you know the, the circumstances in when he was why like, like you know how he was born and how it's brought up probably that is the reason like that dictates his uh behavior now that is the reason why he is like this and it's just that he is ignorant that's basically it it's not deliberate it's ignorant like he is just ignorant about everything so that's why he's like this now like we already already see he's trying like he's going to change like in this episode where he himself says that i'm sorry about it and like i won't say that again and will you train me uh, to the uh, lady um i don't know her name they kind of mentioned her name but i forgot um you know and uh, yeah so obviously this is going to change like yeah that's just something that i at least like you know i i kind of interpret it like this it's like not that saka is trying to be mean it's just that's how saka was like you know uh like he had to keep this kind of like you know thing in his mind when because he was a sole male or something in his tribe while his father and brothers were out in the war anyways um that's just something that i thought i should uh, you know talk about here and also like the uh, and then we see the unagi as well like funny thing i i don't know was that the reason why they named it unagi unagi means eel in japanese isn't it yeah so like it looks like an eel <laughs> kind of big eel kind of snake type of a thing uh so i'm guessing that's why his name is unagi <laughs> uh, that's nice you know and uh yeah and uh, like ang was kind of letting it get into his head and looking at that katara was kind of getting pissed off and they kind of had a little bit of a like you know quarrel and then <laughs> you know ang gets to know that yeah like the person who probably will stick around with me even in my bad times is katara so i the thing that i did with her is probably not something that i should have done like you know when he was kind of like you know nothing was happening the unagi was not coming out everyone like left him and katara came in and they apologized to each other like yeah that's just you know and it's like and also katara saved him in this episode as well like using her water bending technique and they had a little bit of a fight here ang versus um zuko where uh, and also the uh the other the ladies also fought with her now i have to say like 
like Zuko's probably the strongest here that's why like uh, like you know the the other ladies were defeated so quickly but if it was the only uh, the other like, you know soldiers the ladies would probably have handled it you know they would have probably stopped them but because Zuko was here he's quite strong you know Zuko um so that's why like they were probably not over able to overpower him and like it was nice like you know like uh, like it's intelligent for our ang to kind of like understand that yeah zuko is here for me so if i get away from this place they'll probably follow us and yeah she did he did that and like you know uh, saka and all of them were also uh, like followed him and in the end like he did a little bit of good good thing that i i was thinking he was probably going to like you know ram the unagi into the ship or something but he did did even a better job he just like you know used the unagi to kind of spray water throughout the whole village at least like that can like stop the fire you know like that amount of fire like using buckets and waters like you know it would have probably like taken a long time and everything would have been probably burned down by the time so it was really good thinking that he did at that time he decided to spray the whole village with water so that at least the fire stops you know and they can probably start rebuilding so and also like you know zuko and his like his soldiers were also like like you know got wet and i'm guessing they could probably not use fire bending for a couple of minutes because of that who knows like you know they're all like you know like wet and everything so i'm guessing they're going to get like you know it's going to be a little annoying to use fire powers after this unless and until they you know dry up like you know they can get dried up so who knows or maybe they can like you know use the heat and evaporate the water anything like i'm not so sure about like you know what actually happens if a firebender like you know uh, gets sprayed with water <laughs> anyways uh so yeah like another thing that i thought about it here like firebender versus waterbender like waterbenders like even the firebenders like are depicted as strong here if waterbenders come into the picture they'll definitely win don't won't they because they're like water so who knows like i'm sure we'll see something like that like i'm guessing there's like a correlation between the different elements like you know like water is like you know stronger than fire fire is stronger than um wind my air and air is stronger than earth and earth is stronger than water something like this i'm not so sure maybe there is some kind of relationship like this you know like usually in like in video games and stuff there's this kind of a thing where like one element is like you know more preferable like you know more stronger than another element like it's like a cycle there who knows if there's something like this here as well so yeah and by the end of it like they get out of that place and i'm sure like and I'm, i don't know what will happen in the next episode are they going to go to the uh, water tribe in the north who knows let's just wait for it so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to avatar episode number four so yeah guys uh that was like uh two like you know two episodes my two episodes reaction so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i'll be putting like you know uh, avatar reactions every week two episodes so yeah and um comment down below if you want to say anything or if you want you know something to say uh like you know something to share definitely comment down below but no spoilers please and uh so yeah so thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of avatar the last airbender so until then goodbye and have a nice day